Hello and welcome back to Keep the Peace. My name is Leo and or Big Thwomp. Uh, this is the other half of the dream wave that my friend Mesonek uh, handed off or passed it on to me. Uh, I was supposed to have this out a while ago, but I didn't have time. But now I do. So let me open up this with saying this is a sponsored video. And thank you, Lego, for sending the channel these sets. Um, so although it was sponsored, these opinions are my own. And this is the first time I do a review on my own about a Lego original theme. I don't really have a lot of experience with this other than other, like I think it was Monkey Kid. So this is the first time I get to experience something like this on my own, which is a fun opportunity. And uh, all right, let's get through it and let's start with the first set. All right, first up is set number 71459. Stable of Dream Creatures, totaling 681 pieces in the set for $79.99 USD. This set includes four minifigures and uh, two, well, three other side characters that are smaller. I don't really know what to call them. And the Cat Cactus. So this is more of a play set than a standard set that I'm used to. Usually used to more vehicle or some type of big item. Uh, something that this set well, as the theme as a whole has in common, that there's two ways to build it. Some are much more noticeable than others. This one's alternate build is uh, kind of similar to the, the build that we did. <laughs> um, overall, it is a fun set to build, though, and, uh, but I'm not really used to play sets like this. So, it comes with a Cat Cactus, two Dreamling Mushrooms, and Z-Blob, uh, Zoe, and Miss Castillo. Uh, these characters... The printing on the minifigures themselves have a lot of detail to them, as well as their weapons and accessories they do come with. Uh, Miss Castillo being a new mold, I believe. I don't think we've seen it before. Not really well versed on the, uh, what's it called? On the uh, Lego <laughs> uh, minifigure mold, molds, honestly. And they do have uh, alternate face printing on the back of their heads, which is nice to see usually when you do get it. It also does come with Cooper and Izzy. Um, the hairpiece on Izzy being something I've personally never seen before. Same thing as Miss Castillo and uh, Zoe. The printing on the characters is very nice. Uh, both front and back printing on the torsos, as well as uh, an alternate face print on the back. Overall, I uh, do like this set. The uh, magical creature deer pegasus thing is kind of cool however i do think the price is a bit high for what you get the price per part ratio is a little high i mean the play features and details inside are nice and there's a hefty amount of stickers but overall i think it's a pretty decent set as a whole in my opinion <laughs> Up next is the Z Blob, uh, well, I call it Z Blob Mech, but it's set number 7454. 71454. Mateo and Z Blob the Robot for 200, 237 pieces is for uh, 1999. Comes with too many figs. This is uh, more, more like sets that I'm personally used to, uh, particularly to an old theme that I will not name at the moment. Uh, the mech build is really fun and honestly pretty poseable when it gets down to it. Um, those kind of remind me of a very classic franchise. Just like the other sets, there's a base form that you can swap, that can be used to swap between the other two. Um, the price per part for this set is a pretty great in my opinion, and it's a really good option to pick up if you kind of want to mess around with something like this. Uh, the mech build itself is really fun and the accessories it comes with and the possibility you can kind of mess with is great and also z blob is a is a fun little little guy in this one he's like a dome uh the, the arm what's it called shoulder cannon is cool the big blaster you can build is cool and i believe the alternate form for this one is a jetpack you can make which was a cool thing to kind of see uh it comes with a nightmare monster that can carry a bed uh and you know little z blob dome kind of reminds me of uh you know of, of uh what are they called the skull spiders from g2 the bed guy at least does <laughs> which is kind of nice and it comes with two the two minifigures of mateo and Jaden. 
Um, Mateo has a pencil spear thing and a, uh, what's it called? Um, hourglass accessory. The printing on his torso is really cool, as well as the face printing he has. Jaden is more of a standard minifigure. I don't really have much to say. But, you know, it also does come with uh, alternate printing on the back of the head, which is cool. Overall, I would recommend the set for the price per part ratio, and honestly, for what you get, it's a fun one. Up next is set number 71458, the Crocodile Car. 494 pieces for $59.99, including three minifigures. So, the swapping between the croc mode and the monster truck car mode, honestly pretty fun. Uh, I'll be showing it off of the other mode in a moment, as it's much more noticeable and easier to pull off in this one. As both forms, like the base form and the other form, are pretty unique in silhouette. My favorite personally being the crocodile car version that's uh, being shown on screen now, it's just fun <laughs> and looks kind of uh, silly. It does have a disc launcher function, which I believe I do show. Uh, so, the minifigures included with this one are um, Jaden, Night Hunter, and Snivel that are on screen right now, as well as the uh, small two side builds of the motorcycle and the uh, tiny motorcycle as well. Really like, uh, what's it called? Night Hunter's uh, motorcycle has a the two little uh, disc launchers, tiny disc launchers, which is kind of fun. Um, honestly. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the tiny motorcycle. It looks kind of dumb. And Snivel's head is really big. Uh, Night Hunter does not have any back um, head printing on the back of his head. However, he is a pretty detailed figure. Uh, Jaden, kind of similar to the other one. Now, the Crocodile Car has a lot more to it, I feel, than the other part of the set. Uh, it has a lot of details and stickers and, and not that good of an interior. The tail is honestly great, <laughs> as uh, it's extremely fun to mess around with as well. And it has the disc launching function that I mentioned. Uh, really potent, honestly, for what it is. <laughs> and uh, for the heroes of the set, you have Cooper and Logan. Uh, Logan has a hockey stick, Cooper has a hammer and the hourglass. And he has his uh, both hair and a helmet. Uh, I don't really still know what to call Logan and people like the Snivel minifig characters. They're not labeled as minifigures on for Lego, so I don't know what would be the proper thing to call them. Uh, Logan and uh, Cooper have back head printing as well. Um, not really much else to say on them. They're just nice. They're pretty standard figures for what they are. So as, as I said before, the uh, the silhouette of the um, monster truck form is pretty unique compared to the crocodile car form uh, as you know it's taller bigger <laughs> up next is set number seven four seven one four five six miss castillo's turtle van with 434 pieces or 47.99 uh so it's it has a lot going on here it's uh this is the party mode as a lego seems to call it and of the alternate forms they perfectly personally prefer it they also does have a the standard van mode but there's a lot going on with, with this form as is uh you know it's uh, more reminiscent to something you would see in a strange uh rpg game or something it's, it's a pretty fun build uh it does have an interior with a lot of small details and a lot of stickers you can kind of use I mean, it's a very unique build, in my opinion. I don't really know where something like this would come as an idea. But <laughs> the carrot on a stick, the chest, the moving tree, like palm tree. I don't know why there's a giant fire coming out of the top. And I think that's a turtle taco sticker on the side, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's just really fun. It was, it was an entertaining build to kind of mess with. Um... So right now we're looking at Z-Blob, Grim Swan, and the Cat Cactus. Uh, these aren't labeled as minifigures, and <laughs> they're just small little guys, and you know, kind of fun. So the minifigures that come in the set are Zoe, Mateo, and Miss Castillo. Same as the other iterations, they have a lot of details on the printing. 
accessories might be might vary between sets. Um, Mateo doesn't come with the belt this time, but Miss Castillo has a different staff. They, uh, you know, they have their back face printing. Not really much else to add. It's a uh, get a lot of the same minifigures between these sets, but I think that comes in turn with the new line and trying to spread them out between them. So final set of the that I received was set number seven one four sixty, Mr. Oz's Space Bus, eight hundred seventy eight pieces for ninety nine ninety nine. Um, comes with too many figures and a lot of the little guys that are not <laughs> labeled on here. So the base set, well, no, let me back up a little. This was the most fun build of the bunch, in my opinion. Uh, the base of the set is the majority of it that you end up choosing. And you end up choosing how to kind of customize the space shuttle, is a good way to put it. Um, so I ended up customizing it with rockets and blasters. The alternate customization is just a really big cannon on top and a small like a uh, spaceship that looked odd in my opinion. Really loved building it. It comes with a lot of interior uh, space as well as a little side rover build and the cockpit area is really cool in my opinion. The only thing that I find weird is that green rubber rope piece that I've never seen before. Uh, but really the set has a lot to it. You know, it has the, uh, it's like a cannon on top that you can pull off and it's like a satellite. And a lot of the side builds, like the side of customization, can just be yanked off to have a base spaceship, which is really unique for something like this. It's it's just something that I do like seeing in these sets. It's a lot of customization and choices you can make. So this uh, has a lot of little guys. Uh, up first is Denny and Susan. Uh, there is a lot going on on Susan here. I don't really know how to describe it. Uh, strange i really do like these little guys though they're really fun to look at and mess around with uh denny being kind of more akin to a classic space reference which is kind of nice then you have proper chopper uh flight knight and captain bedbeard each of them being related or kind of themed to an old lego theme as well then you have albert the monkey z blob and logan again uh, Albert the monkey is a uh, kind of funny. I do like his <laughs> space helmet and you know little monkey head inside. It's a nice little figure and Z Blob and Logan are nice to get again. Um, great number piece once again is extremely long. And I just like adding it into the shot. Uh, each other helmets and hair pieces can be removed to sort of see the more detail on their face, which is kind of cool. And then you have Mateo and Mr. Oz. Um, Mr. Oz has a lot of detail on him as well. You gotta remove his armor to kind of see it, which is, you know, something odd I've always found about some Lego minifigures. There's a lot of detail underneath a lot of the armor you can slap on them, which is cool when you remove it. Uh, of, out of all the character designs of the sets that I got, I do think Mr. Oz is my favorite. But I think that just kind of leans more to me liking space stuff. Overall, I would recommend this set even at that price per part ratio it has the amount of little guys that aren't minifigures i guess is really great too because it is pricey but i do think this is the set you'd want to grab from the steam at least to me no, I, I don't have experience with the other ones like the uh, treehouse might be good as well or the big pirate ship uh but overall though I, this is this was the set that impressed me the most for this uh this whole uh, theme. So as a whole, I think, personally, I would recommend the uh, 71460 Mr. Oz's Space Bus, even with the price per part ratio difference, as well as the Z-Blob Mech, and possibly the Crocodile Car, even though that price per part ratio is kind of harsh. It is a fun build, but I think the high price comes due to the big wheels and other large molded pieces that are kind of included with the set the other two the other two sets are kind of fun but they weren't really my uh, <laughs> cup of tea so yeah thank you all for watching and i'll see you again soon with another review